you've been consumed by Stern over the last four years, but what happened in the world while we were in college? The world didn't end in 2012. Now I have this emergency bunker for nothing. The Supreme Court finally discusses marriage equality and the Defense of Marriage Act. Occupy Wall Street, which later became Occupy Union Square, right around all of our dorms. Obama gets re-elected as the President of the United States. The Arab Spring Revolution. Congress passed the Affordable Health Care Act. Hurricane Sandy having to boil water on my stove, running to the bathroom so I could just shower. It was crazy. The city was like a ghost town. Michael Phelps becomes the most decorated Olympian. The iPad came out. I won one from Stern at a recruiting event. I wake up every morning feeling like P. Diddy. House of Cards on Netflix has changed the way we all watch TV. Voldemort is finally defeated. Shout out to Neville Longbottom. NYU alum Ang Lee wins an Oscar for Best Director for his film Life of Pi. Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. The Stern family will be ready. Justin Bieber came to NYU, but he didn't sing. He gave a talk. What does he have to talk about? Facebook, the most anticipated IPO of all time, fell flat on its face. Les Mis the movie came out this year. Beyonce rules the world at the Super Bowl. The movie Pitch Perfect, the stress buster of the year. Gangnam Style! Suits, the TV show. We know about that. The Sprouse twins, they look so grungy these days. I see them at the gym all the time. Buying coffee at Starbucks. A bunch of girls are peeking in the window. Why? Inside, James Franco, NYU grad. Taylor Swift, she had a lot of boyfriends. I was the only one who wasn't one of them. Bradley Cooper emerges as an awesome person. It's Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Fifty Shades of Grey, which nobody wants to admit that they read, but I know I did. My mom and I read it at the same time and really enjoyed it. <laughs> My mom, when she watches this at graduation, is going to be like, really, you had to say that? <laughs> Seamless is awesome because I don't need to leave Stern to get food. It caters to my laziness. <laughs> I wanted to study in New York City. I don't think there's a better place than to be in New York City. Leading one of the clubs in STIR, I had like so much support from the New York City area, and I can bring in so many like awesome speakers. I feel I couldn't have done this without the support of the city. I feel like New York City is so unique in the fact that we are literally in the middle of a cosmopolitan city. You know, like you go downtown and you feel like the super hipster vibes and everything like that. But then you go into Midtown and it's all suits and tourists and things like that. But there's a very interesting vibe in New York that allows everybody to come together. One of my favorite memories from my four years at Stern was the block party. It's a lot of fun. Well, it didn't do too well, but one of my favorite classes was Foundations of Financial Markets with Robert Whitelaw. Joseph Foudy, you're the best. Steak and wine in Buenos Aires. Thanksgiving in London, 80 people in my apartment. $10 just for Broadway shows, yay! Stern Legacy does the Harlem Shake. <laughs> the Stern International Volunteers Program allowed me to meet so many awesome people in Stern that I wouldn't have met otherwise. ISV Barcelona, great place, great friends, great food, and a great trip. I ran for student council in freshman year. It was awesome, but I didn't get it. Great time volunteering in Peru it was an absolutely unforgettable experience. Being invited to dinner at a friend's house halfway across the world in Singapore is something I will never forget. Sneaking into KMIC grass study rooms is probably the best place that you can study for finals. My favorite part of ISP Singapore was definitely the late night swims that we had at the hotel and coming back with a Singaporean accent. Being locked in for an exciting snowstorm freshman year. So whole cohort, you guys are fantastic. Remember having to swipe into Stern? Thank God for tapping now. Orcom presentation. LES, what, what? Stern Semi. The undergraduate Stern Women in Business is amazing. We bring in so many awesome speakers. Tribeca. Last year we suffered a crushing defeat at the hands of CAS at all U games. But this year, we won back our title. Woo! My community service project turned into meeting my four best friends. Living, traveling, and just hanging out with some of my best friends from Battery Park. I went to Buenos Aires for ISP, and my favorite part was the scavenger hunt because I got to tango with a bunch of people I didn't really know. <laughs> many, many late nights over at group projects, many all-nighters. ISP Buenos Aires, best spring break ever. Midtown, our town. <laughs> Shout out to Singapore! Shout out to the East Village cohort, Evil. A big shout out to Student Council! I 
actually don't want to graduate. It's really sad. I want to stay in Stern forever. <laughs> I think that some of the friendships I've made in the past four years will last me a lifetime. And I think that I'll always be able to talk to these people no matter where we end up in the future. I've definitely become a lot more comfortable with myself after being at Stern. It's partially because there's something about being in a business school that really makes you come out of your shell and it forces you to say, I'm confident in myself, it doesn't matter. I would really miss my classmates and all the awesome professors that I had and even like the speakers that I, the clubs and classes brought in that I get to meet and talk to them. They're just like so inspirational to me. I think Stern Degree to me is a brand. It's something that will open doors for me and it's something that I'll carry with me. It's gonna be my al alma mater. I'm, I'm gonna cry. It's gonna be my alma mater and it's definitely been for the best years of my life. And I love Stern. I love the people I've met here. I love Stern more than my dog loves steak. And I've just had a great four years here. It's been awesome. <laughs> The best advice I could give anyone is don't be afraid to take risks and explore. Try as much as you can. Everyone's a little weird. Embrace it because that's what makes you unique and special. Don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. While job is important, we're only young ones, so it's important to make a life, you know, not just living. So, you know, always live life to the fullest and just have fun. Good luck class of 2013. I'm going to miss all those times we spent together in the third floor in the UC and LC. We'll miss you guys, so stay in touch and don't forget your stern roots. I can't wait to see and hear about you guys for years to come. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations, Stern Class of 2013. I'm so excited to see where life takes us. Congratulations, Class of 2013. We did it! I am unique. I am ambitious. I am optimistic, excited, so ready, entrepreneurial. I am legend, wait for it, dairy. I, I am global. I am awesome, passionate, dynamic. I am graduating today. I am stern. 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 I am stern.